Afghanistan is safer than the north side of Milwaukee. Yeah, for sure. Afghanistan is safer than most major U.S. cities right now. For us as outsiders, yes. And for us as men. As men, yes. For, so uh, the one thing I don't want to do is shine any like shining light um, on, on the current circumstances and situations in Afghanistan. Because if you're a resident of Afghanistan, you're going through hell right now. And especially if you're not Pashtun, if you're not the, right. the major ethnic controlling faction. You, you're, you're not happy. Uh, you have many rules that that are holding you back from happiness. Um, so it's difficult for me to speak on behalf of Afghanis. They can speak on behalf of themselves. Uh, when I go somewhere, I can only judge a country based on the way I was treated. Yeah, I was treated properly by the residents. And you would think that there would be some built-up anger towards white males from the West. You know, with all the war and damage caused, we've bombed a significant amount of people right. in Afghanistan, right, and and destroyed their lives and their property and and their businesses. We contribute to many orphans, right? Yeah. So you would think that walking through the streets, when asked, "Are you from the USA?" Uh, there would be a lot of anger. I said, "I'm Canadian," but often when I was there, I would ask them, "How would you feel if I was from the USA?" And they they treat you lovingly. You know, listen, if you were in the army that dropped the bombs, you would probably get treated differently. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't blame you for being American or where you were born. They're amongst the most loving people I've ever met. I heard some people describe both Pakistan and next door neighbor Afghanistan as some of the most hospitable countries on earth. The best. Pakistan, number one, yeah. by far. And I thought it was just me being a white man there. Uh, but when I was there, I was traveling with a, a YouTuber that was black, and he was treated even higher on a pedestal. Black man, the traveler? Yes. Yeah. So we were together, and I was seeing him the same. Like when 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 a, a father or mother walks through the street with an infant child, they're taking their child out of the stroller and asking you to hold the child. Like, can you touch my child? And it wasn't a white thing. It wasn't a black thing. What they respect about us as world travelers is we're bypassing all of the alerts from the media. Do not go to Pakistan, ter terrorism, this, bombing, this. We've ignored that. and We're, we're taking the risk in the media's eyes. Uh, we're enjoying it. So they, they're so happy for us to be there, right? So food is free. When you walk through Pakistan, they would be very insulted for you to pay for food off the street. Is and it hard to and... receive free food knowing that some of those people are struggling? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but I always try to give money. That's just my, this is the way I am. But also you want to give a man opportunity to be hospitable. Right. You don't want to rob that from him. Right. And if they're going to offer me a juice or a meal, I know that's not going to take away from their bottom line, right? So I don't want to insult them. If they offer me free enough times, I'll say yes, most definitely. I would love to uh, do this. So yeah, Pakistan incredible people and i didn't know like when i go to these places i don't google are people in pakistan friendly right i i don't know what to what i'm even going to encounter so when i got there and i saw these people are just incredibly passionate about their country you landed in pakistan yes went through pakistan and then crossed through to into afghanistan after a couple of weeks in pakistan yes okay and whereabouts in pakistan did you stay uh all over um but like the friendliness, the friendliness is all over. Um, Islamabad was the only major city I did not visit. So I moved, I worked my way around the country. Um, and Peshawar is like the final location before you get into Afghanistan. And from what I hear, a good warm up to Afghani culture because there's a lot yes. of Pashtun gentlemen that run in those areas. And it wasn't long ago that was actually part of Afghanistan. And didn't a lot of the Taliban, because um, from what I understand, so the Taliban means the students. Right. And the, the schools that the, a lot of these orphan kids were brought up in were called madrasas. And so when the Taliban needed numbers, they would recruit from these Pakistani madrasas and all these chil children would kind of join the, the army and whatever mission they had to do, they had to do. Yes. Is that your understanding of how things started to grow? Yeah, I, think, and I think you know, I, I, was, I was wildly pleased by uh, how much effort you put into research because I'm completely different. Um, and even us talking about Afghanistan and your trip, um, you put a lot of effort into it. Mm -hmm. I do it differently. You know, uh, what I do is I go in knowing nothing. Uh, I gain as much information as I can through the people I meet. Uh, and then I go home and I like wildly research everything I learned to sort of verify what my thoughts are. You know, if we say that the children uh, were brought into the Taliban, 
I saw children with Taliban, but never in an instance where like they're responsible for anything. Um, most Taliban offices have children in them that are going to be future Taliban. You know, if you're Pashtun in Afghanistan, you are a Taliban. Can you break down the ethnic differences in Afghanistan at all? Are you yeah. into that at all? Yeah, well, I, I really don't know much. I know I know there's, Hazara. There's three main factions, there, right? There's Pashtun. I don't Tajiks? know. Yeah, and yes, and then Hazara are the more Asian, typical Asian. And those are the northern Afghanistan looking. folks? They're, they're everywhere, really. Okay. Um, but yeah, in the colder regions. But in Kabul, the capital, there's, there's definitely a Hazara... Um, neighborhood where if you go it's only Hazara 